Hello everyone, Nalini, Assistant Professor, Department of English in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to see about literary genres and terms. The first topic, subjective and objective poetry. These are the two kinds. Subjective means personal, it talks about poets' thoughts and feelings. And objective means impersonal, it talks about external objects such as events, deeds or things which we seen by the author in his written work. And then for example, Youth and Age by Shakespeare and Coleridge. And the next topic we are going to see about the poetical types. It's also known as poetic forms or genres, encompasses a wide variety of structure and stylistic approach to poetry. In a nutshell, we are going to see about some topics. A lyric, a short poem expressing personal emotions and feelings. In the old, it prizes about some person, place, thing or something else. Next, sonnet. It contains a 14-line poem with a specific rhyme scheme meet and meter. And traditionally, iambic pentameter, that is each line contains a 10 syllable in it. And next, the elegy. It was a mournful song, that is a lamenting the death of a person or reflecting on sorrow and loss. And the next, the epic. It was a long narrative poem. Next, the ballad. A narrative poem often set music that tells a story of adventure, romance and tragedy. Next, satire. Next, satire. A literary work that uses irony, humor and exaggeration to criticize or mock human follies. And the next topic, stanza forms. Stanza forms refers to different patterns of grouping lines in a poem. There are some forms of the heroic couplet that is a rhyme, a Chaucerian stanza, a rhyme royal, the octava rhyme, the Spencerian stanza, simile, metaphor, allegory, oxymoron, and epigram and epic ambiguity. And the in detail we are going to see some of it. A heroic couplet means a stanza composed of two rhymed lines in iambic pentameter, that is, ten syllables per line. They convey a sense of dignity and grandeur. For example, Alexander Pope's essay on criticism uses heroic couplets. And then next, Tessa Rhyma, stanza form with an interlocking rhyme scheme, typically used in test set, uh, that is three line stanza. For example, a rhyme scheme follows A, B, A, B, C, B, C, D, C, etc. For example, uh, Dante's Allegory's Divine Comedy is written in Tessa Rhyma. And the next one, next we will switch over to another uh, forms, that is a Spencerian stanza. A nine line stanza with the rhyme scheme A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C, C used primarily by Edmund Spencer in his Farrick way. And then next, uh, next a simile, it was a figure of speech that directly refers to one thing by mentioning another to suggest a likeness between them without using like or as. And then allegory, a narrative or poem in which characters, events and settings symbolizes deeper meanings often moral or political. For example, George Orwell's animal form is an allegory of Russian revolution and totalitarianism. Next topic, dramatic art. It tells stories on stages through action. The performance in dramatic art often portrays characters, scenarios through dialogues, action and physical expression to engage the audience and convey the intended message or story. And the next dramatic types, they are these are the dramatic types, tragedy and comedy, tragic comedy and fascism, melodrama and masculine, one act play, dramatic monologue, tragic flaw, three unities, soliloquy. In this we are going to see some of it in detail. There is tragic comedy. It focuses on serious and often fatal events involving protagonists who faces moral dilemmas or confronts their own flaws, Harmatheya. For example, Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Next, a comedy features humorous and light-hearted plots that 
often involves misunderstandings mistaken identities with dialogue for example twelfth knife by william shakespeare and importance of being earnest by oscar wilde and tragic comedy it blends elements of tragedy and comedy offering complex portrayal of human experience that mixes scenario serious and humorous tunes for example waiting for godo written by samuel beckett and merchant of venice and next we will switch over to soliloquy soliloquy a dramatic device where the character speaks aloud to themselves revealing their inner thoughts emotions and motivations next to dramatic devices dramatic devices namely dramatic irony soliloquy and essay expectations and surprise and stage directions yes, thank you